Hi, welcome to the digital job site where the boards are straight, the weather's great, and there really is a board stretcher. And this video series is a follow-up to the quick and slick crown molding uh, videos uh, that I've done previously. And in that video I mentioned I would do a future series on importing an actual crown molding profile and then using that imported profile to calculate um, angles for cutting the compound miters um, for a fitting crown molding. And at the outset I'll warn you this is a bit um, uh, involved process because it involves a photo match and uh, numerous steps to get this imported so it might be just more entertainment than actually a practical application for using SketchUp but uh, nevertheless um, we'll go through this process so you get an idea of some of the capabilities of SketchUp whether you decide they're practical to use or not. So anyways to start the process I have photographed uh, a crown molding sample from a local um, lumber supplier and um, I want it we want to import that photograph into SketchUp um, to get our profile. So to do a photo match, uh, just select the uh, camera menu and then match new photo selection. Uh, this takes you into, um, I just click into my photo um, files and then find the crown molding photo that I took. So when this opens up, I get all these funny looking lines and grid lines. That's um, what SketchUp uses for matching a photo and aligning the, the um, 3D axes to the, to the photograph. And I'm not going to get real deep into the particulars of photo match. There's some excellent tutorials that explain in depth uh, the purpose and function of these lines. I'm just going to kind of jam through this stuff to get, um, to get SketchUp set up so we can trace the profile of this molding. I want to end up with an accurate tracing of this. So I'm just going to kind of go through these steps. I'm selecting this middle grid style, uh, minimize that. And then I just drag these points around. And uh, I'm just going to zoom in. When you want to line up on your on your photograph, zooming in will help you accurately, accurately line up points. And then um, these other handles uh, the basic premise of photo match is to line up um, these axes lines with um, lines in your photograph. Like I said, if you look at some of the tutorials, they'll they'll they do a great job of explaining the hows and whys and some of the particulars of this. But I just want to get through the process so we can grab the profile um, from this molding. And you can see on the in my photograph purposely I drew. 90 degree lines here, uh, just with a square and a pencil, and then I spaced these two lines exactly three inches. You'll see why that is in a minute. So I've lined up the red axis with one set of edges, put my point of origin at another intersection of lines, and then I'm going to line these, these green axes lines up 90 degrees to the red ones. And uh, this is kind of a strange looking process with grid lines wiggling around etc um, and I'm just going to kind of tweak these to get set up and there's no matter what photograph you use you're going to get a little bit of parallax in there and um, and I just kind of work around those um, knowing that it's in the photograph we can get a close enough representation what I want to do is get this blue line the vertical axis line to line up with that on the molding. So you can see my green line doesn't quite line up with that pencil mark um, on the board, but it's more important at this point to get the, the blue line to line up with that long edge. The longer the edge, uh, the better reference it is. So um, I'm going to finish tweaking these here a little bit. I'll stop this video. Um, and then uh, pick it up again in a moment um, to work on uh, the, other, the next steps in um, in getting the getting our profile traced. 